Today I just wanted to sit down and make another video where we chat about so many fun things that are happening in fashion right now, different trends, different things that I'm seeing that I'm loving, that I'm obsessed with. I don't know if it's the combination of being like in my mid 30s and just really embracing my own style and like not caring as much or if it's just the current era of fashion that we're in at the moment, but like I'm just so inspired and I'm having the time of my life. So I made a little list and I was just like browsing through Pinterest and Instagram and social media and just gathering little things that I thought would be fun to talk about and you know you can let me know your thoughts on in the comments below. I love watching videos like these. I see so many amazing creators making videos where they talk about things that they love, things that they're inspired by, things that they like right now, things that they don't like right now. If you want to see a video where I talk about the opposite definitely let me know in the comments below but I thought it would be fun to do one for myself. Also keep in mind that you can wear whatever you want. Trends come and go. This is just for fun. This is just commentary. It's just me sharing things that have me inspired and excited about fashion but by no means do you have to like buy any of this stuff or wear any of this stuff what you have in your closet already is perfectly good enough I'm just chatting with the girlies you know we're just sitting down and talking about things that make us feel a little bit of serotonin you know what I mean it's like sometimes we all need that a little bit so I've got a quite a long list here and you know how I love to chat I'll try not to go on and on too long but grab yourself a drink grab a snack kick back and let's do it before we get started, I want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, Upside. Upside is a free app that gets you cash back on daily essentials, things like gas, dining, groceries, etc. And yes, it is actual cash back. It's not any kind of confusing rewards or points. It's just actual cash back that you can transfer right to your bank account. So I love that about it. It's super user friendly and easy to use. And there are over 100,000 different gas stations, restaurants, and grocery stores available on the app. So you can just have tons of opportunities to make sure that cash back is just right around the corner for you. Basically, you scroll through the app. Whenever you find a deal that you'd like to earn cash back on, you select it. You just claim the offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. You purchase with a normal credit or debit card. Then you just follow the steps in the app and you get paid. It is truly that easy. You can earn three times more cash back with Upside than any other product. This includes credit card rewards, loyalty programs, etc. So I love that about it. I personally use Upside when I'm ready to get gas or to get groceries or if I'm hitting up a restaurant in the area. It's just so easy and convenient and I'm already going there anyway so I might as well get cash back. Top upside earners are making as much as $300 a month. So to find out how much you can earn, just click the link in the description box below, download the Upside app for free. And don't forget to use my code Carrie Dayton at checkout to get 25 cents back per gallon on your first tank of gas. Okay, the first trend and just thing that I'm noticing straight out of the gate, number one has to be gingham. Like I am so obsessed with gingham. I feel like I always have been. I wore gingham as a kid. I've definitely worn gingham throughout the years, but like recently it has just been hitting so hard. I love it in all colors. I love pink. I love black and white. I love red, green, blue, any color. Honestly, I love it so much. I'm seeing so many cute gingham pieces. I'm seeing gingham pants, shorts, dresses, cute little tops, cute little peplum tops. We'll get into that. Just so many cute ways to wear it. Maxi skirts, like the little tiered maxi skirts with a gingham print. I just love it all. And I feel like it's a universal print. Like it's one of those prints that I don't think will ever go out of style. I mean, maybe who knows, but I'm always going to love it. Like, like it's just been a tried and true and it's just something like to me it's almost a neutral it goes with other prints and patterns as well depending and I love it I would say that probably one of my biggest like things that I'm on the hunt for is a pair of red gingham like wide leg baggy pants I've been seeing so many cute ones online recently especially on Pinterest and I absolutely must get my hands on some it's quite difficult to find in plus sizes so if you have any recommendations let me know in the comments below but I just like love it so much a uh, red gingham top would be amazing if if you watched my spring thrift haul that I did recently, I think I thrifted like two or three gingham dresses and you can't stop me. I've thrifted another one since. I will wear all of them like to the ends of the earth. I am obsessed with them and it's definitely gonna be like a gingham girl spring and summer for sure. Next up is cherry print. I don't know if this is something that's necessarily trendy at the moment, but it's just something that I can't get enough of. Like a black dress with cherry print on it or like something white with cherry print or like a cute little pink with cherry print. I just love it. I think it's so adorable and it's definitely like my hyper fixation print at the moment. The icon photo for my channel is a cherry print sweater. I love it. If you watched my recent video where I ranked and roasted my old outfits from the past, I actually didn't rate that cherry sweater very high on the list because of the pants that I wore with it. I would obviously style it a little bit differently now, but I still love the sweater. The sweater is safe. We love her. I would love to find more stuff that has cherries on it, especially 
especially for spring and summer. I've also just been getting into cherries, like the fruit more recently. So that could be part of it. It does have this sort of like nostalgic sense to it. I think cherry print has kind of come and gone over the years, but I am definitely like heavily in a phase for it right now. I'm obsessed. Next up is super fun spring nails. I currently just have red nails at the moment, which I do love, but I have seen so many fun, cute, like with florals and rhinestones and chrome and all these different color combinations that I'm obsessed with for spring and summer. I think it's like the time that you really go nuts with nails during this time of year, at least for me anyway. Like I'm doing like more bright colors. I'm doing chrome. I'm doing glitter, things like that. Whereas the rest of the year, I'm kind of keeping it more neutral, I guess you would say. Um, So I am like, I'm here for it. I'm living for it. I am just like all about the maximalist thing at the moment. I say at the moment, like my entire apartment isn't maximalist. My entire life isn't maximalist, but you know what I mean? That kind of style where you have like a funky colored sweater on and like funky colored pants and then like funky colored nails. I just love that. I think it's so much fun. I'm obviously not very colorful at the moment, but just give me a moment. I'll get there. But I just like love these fun nails. I just simply don't have the patience to sit there for like two hours. So maybe if I'm feeling brave and I really want to like go for a fun spring nail. I'll like dabble with this trend, but I just think it's so, so much fun. I love it. The next thing I've been noticing like pop off recently is vests and I love a vest. I love a waistcoat vest. I love a denim vest. I love a quilted vest. There have been so many cute knit vests that I've seen recently. Sweater vests have always been like a love of mine and I really had to like pare back my collection for a while. So I'm just like so excited to see so many vests still going strong. It's probably been a few few years now that vests have kind of like made their way back around and I love it. I've been seeing so many cute little like baby tee with a denim vest and like a cute printed pair of pants or like a cute maxi skirt or something. I love that look. I think it's so adorable. I just think all the girlies who are wearing vests are absolutely killing it and they look amazing. I've been screenshotting so many different outfits lately that have made me just like want to dive into my own closet and kind of put pieces together and mix and match and like find ways that fit to my style. And and it's like making me just like, oh, it's so inspiring. I love it. I feel like I'm always like semi-inspired when it comes to fashion, but really this winter, I wasn't feeling it at all. And so now that spring's coming back around, I'm just seeing so much stuff that's like making me so excited to get dressed and it just makes me so happy. So clearly I had to share it because if I'm feeling it, then I'm sure a lot of other people are feeling it as well. So yeah, could not be more excited to just wear all of the vests in the upcoming months, can't wait. Next is one that's kind of surprising me and I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it on me. So we'll kind of like play around with it and see as time goes on, like maybe I'll thrift them somewhere or something, but Capri pants. Capri length pants are coming back and I've seen the memes of people joking around about it. I've, I've been there. I've been there when they were around 20 something years ago. I had many pairs of capris. I had capri leggings. I had capri jeans. I had capri white pants. Like I just had so many different capris and I don't know again how they're gonna look on me but I just think that I've seen so many cute looks recently, especially on Pinterest of girlies wearing the cutest capris and I'm like, you go queen. Raising the bar for us all. You know, I do think I'm open-minded to it. I'm um, Capri questioning, if you will. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. If you have any Capris that you've bought recently, then let me know. Let me know your thoughts. <laughs> I would, uh, I'd be pretty confident to say that a lot of people are going to disagree with me on this one. That's okay. I'll stand 10 toes down on it. I do think that I might be tempted to play around with it and I could try it on and be like, never mind. This is too much. It's like giving middle school and that's fine, but we never know until we try. So we'll see what ends up happening with that. But but what I am seeing so far is really, really cute. This will probably come as no surprise, but boxer slash PJ pants slash like these wide leg flowy pants are just everything to me this spring and summer. As I mentioned before, it's it feels like you're wearing pajamas. I mean, with the boxer pants, I guess technically you are wearing pajamas, but I think it is the cutest look. And I know a lot of people are gonna agree with me and a lot of people won't. And that's okay. That's what's so fun about fashion is that it's all for funsies. You can wear whatever the hell you want. And I'm to be wearing these. I think what it is for me for like the pajama slash boxer pants is that it's just really reminiscent of like 90s. And I mean, it, God, take a shot every time I've said 90s in a video. Um, Actually don't, you'd be dead. But it's just, that's where I grew up. That's where my heart lies. That's like the core of my style. That's what makes me the happiest. And so I just like, anything that reminds me of that is just immediately yes. You have like a cute 
pattern on the bottom typically you have the comfort of like an elastic waist which is incredible and they're just pretty universally nice looking on everyone so i don't know don't knock it until you try it maybe i'll do a video where i test out a bunch of different like boxers pajama pants wide leg pants whatever like comfy non-jeans but in the meantime i am like so so excited about these i can't wait to wear them all sort of piggybacking off of the last one is just boxers in general i am struggling to find a pair that are long enough to wear with my you know thicky thighs. I do feel like they're long enough in theory, like with the inseam, they're usually like, you know, four inches, but it's just the way that my body moves and just like, you know, eats up any pair of shorts. But I love the look of it. I think it's so cute. I think like a white tee or just like a cute little graphic tee with a pair of boxers and some socks and loafers is the cutest outfit ever. I just love the way it looks. I love how youthful and playful it is. And again, it's pajamas and it's polarizing. A lot of people don't like it, but I am one of the ones who love it. If boxers have zero fans, I am dead. Next up is denim on denim on denim. Just all of the denim, denim vests, denim jackets, denim jeans, denim shorts, denim skirts, like all of them paired together. I love it. I did a photo shoot at the beginning of this year and I did a cute little denim on denim, like throwing back to the, you know, I'm an Arizona, Tennessee girl at heart. You know what I mean? And I love it. I mean, I think it's called a Canadian tuxedo, but I've also heard it called a Minnesota tuxedo, an Arizona tuxedo. Like, I think it's just kind of interchangeable. But the Canadian tuxedo is just, it's just a masterpiece. It never steers you wrong. It's like withstood the test of time and I love it. I'm here for it. I think when it's done intentionally, it can be just like such a classy, cool, effortless type of look. So I will definitely have to continue playing around with that and sort of see what works for me and my style, but I am so inspired by it and I think it's so cute for spring and summer. Next up is kind of like a play on the little black dress, but I've been seeing so much of the little white dress recently, like these cute summer dresses, cute little like A-line shift dresses, cute flowy summer dresses, cute prairie dresses, like the white summer dress is truly unmatched. I think I've had one every year of my entire life and I pick a favorite every summer and I stick with it and that thing goes everywhere with me and I absolutely love it. I think it's so nice too because you can mix and match with fun pops of color with like your accessories, your bag, your sunglasses, your shoes, throw on a jacket or a cardigan or something like that and it's just so fun. It's just a staple. Can't really go wrong with it. It's a classic as well. Next up is Ballet Flats and Mary Janes. I've seen a lot of these probably over the last like year or so and I just think they're so adorable. I love like a fun colorful Mary Jane or even just a classic black one. There are just so many fun things that you can do with it. You can wear it with jeans, like a nice baggy pair of jeans, adorable. A baggy pair of like high-waisted trousers, adorable. A maxi skirt, a mini skirt, a dress, like just so many fun things. And they're pretty comfortable, honestly. Like at least for me, I'm not really dealing with any kind of like foot troubles, but when I wear mine, like they're comfy all day long and I love them. I will need to continue to try and figure out the perfect wide width pair because I have a pair of Steve Madden Silver Mary Janes that I love, but I wanna find some others because a couple other pairs that I've tried or like my feet are just a little too wide for. So I'm on the hunt. I will let you know. I want to find like the comfiest, coziest, easiest to wear a pair of flats. So to be continued on that. But ah, uh, I love these shoes. I think they're so cute. Ah, uh, I love when the girls are girling. It will come as absolutely zero surprise to anyone that I'm saying this. But next is the Adidas Sambas slash Gazelles in quite literally every color combo you could imagine. I am obsessed. If my entire shoe collection just became these Adidas Sambas and Gazelles and the ones with platforms and then ones with not platforms and the ones with pink and the ones with the gum sole. Like so many cute ones. Um, I would be the happiest person in the world. They just go with everything. They go with flowy skirts and dresses and pants. They go with jeans. They go with denim shorts. They go with mini skirts. Like they are truly, at least for me, a universal shoe. And I know they're not for everyone, but they're definitely for me. Oh yeah. I will take the ones that you don't want, please, immediately. Next up is oversized flowy silhouettes. So like a big button up top and then like some big wide leg jeans or some big wide leg linen pants or boxer pants or whatever. I just love how the silhouettes of things are bigger. Like maxi dresses have more volume, skirts have more volume. Even like peplum tops I've seen a lot of recently. Not the like, you know, early 2010s style peplum, but I've seen a lot of those really cute blouses 
is where it's like got a puff sleeve and then it's got a cute little ruffle collar and then it's got ties in the front and then it has kind of like a peplum bottom like oh I love that I just think it's so beautiful it's what makes me feel the most comfortable and it just feels really sexy to me so I love it I cannot wait to play around with so many more just like big oversized pieces of clothing so I will keep my eye out thrifting for sure because I've just seen so many cute ones if you have any recommendations for any kind of like big oversized items that you've been loving definitely leave them in the comments below but oh so cute next up and I mean this might be like second on the list but these are made in no particular order is glasses I feel like we are in the year of the glasses and for good reason there are so many cute glasses out there right now and for someone who actually wears glasses to like drive and watch TV and see anything that's past like five feet away from me um I'm living I love it I've been getting all of my glasses on I buy direct not sponsored at all whatsoever I have paid all of my own money but I feel like they're the most affordable and they have so many cute options I just have so many cute pairs that I love and it's honestly like a daily struggle to not order more so if you don't need glasses or don't require them just get fake ones they're so cute they're so much fun there's cute sunglasses as well I just think it's such a cute trend and I feel like these days almost every outfit I wear isn't complete without a pair of glasses I'm obsessed next up this will come as no surprise because it's just something that I've been into since birth pretty much and it's braids just braids in general braids with bows braids with ribbons braids on their own tiny braids big braids like I just love them all I've seen so many cute little like pigtail braids and then you tie multiple braids into each pigtail or braided bangs or the cute little braids in the front I've always been a braid girly and I always will be I just think they're so fun my go-to hairstyle when I don't know what to do is just like pigtail braids I love it next up again something that is just like it's just me in a nutshell and that is leopard print there are so much leopard print at the moment that I am in heaven there's leopard print mini skirts, midi skirts, maxi skirts. There's leopard print jackets and tops and especially leopard print pants at the moment, like wide leg leopard print, sort of like jeans or pants. I've been seeing a lot of that recently and oh, it makes me so happy because I've always been a leopard print girly. It's hard for me sometimes because I kind of toe the line between looking like Matilda's mom and like looking trendy, but also who cares, you know? If you've been here since like probably 2018, 2019, I really went through a heavy leopard print phase and I stand by it. I do regret getting rid of that stuff. I think I talked about that in a previous video, but this just has me so excited. And I don't know why for particularly spring and summer, cause this could easily be like a fall and winter thing. I do think it will transition very well into fall and winter and it will still be a very hot trendy thing. So yeah, I'm very excited about that. The next one is big oversized scrunchies. I bought a couple of these probably like a year or two ago and I love them. I feel like they keep getting bigger and it makes me even happier with so many like cute little slicked back hairstyles I think they look adorable I just love a big voluminous scrunchie like what do you mean I have been a scrunchies kid since the 90s and they just keep getting bigger and I keep getting happier I think like a little low ponytail or a little low slicked back bun with a big scrunchie is adorable my friend Alexa has been wearing so many cute ones she looks like a freaking doll in them I love it and if scrunchies keep getting bigger and they eventually get to this point I'm gonna be so happy and I will be wearing it the next one is long shorts like we're talking jorts okay almost down to your knees type of shorts and I've seen so many long shorts recently and it makes me so happy because it's like it's about time us thick thigh ladies and people of the world have been suffering in silence for many years now, decades even, with these tiny little denim shorts that you know we're gonna chafe in but we just try to wear them because it's a cute thing to wear in summer and whatever no more no but genuinely I have been thrifting and just like wearing longer pairs of shorts recently and number one I think they look adorable and number two it's like so much more comfortable when you can walk around all day and you won't chafe yourself to death it's like wow what a concept so I could not be a bigger fan of longer shorts I am definitely on the hunt for more I've also been thinking about just like thrifting a big oversized pair of men's jeans and cutting those into shorts so we'll see what ends up happening with that but I just I'm a big long shorts fan and honestly thank god for that it's been a long time coming for us that's for sure and last but not least is menswear I've seen kind of similar to what I mentioned before like the waistcoats and like the cute trousers and things like that that are sort of menswear-esque or adjacent I love those I think they're so cute very comfortable as well kind of ties into like the oversized silhouettes thing too and I just think that feminine people wearing masculine clothing is so hot and I'm obsessed with it and clothing obviously has no gender you can wear whatever the hell you want but I just personally have been really drawn to a lot of like menswear style 
style things that I've seen recently. Even menswear inspired like silhouettes and stuff like that, I have been obsessed with and I can't get enough of. I love like a nice tailored oversized pant. I love a big wide leg like athletic pant. I love the oversized like waistcoats and oversized blazers. Like I just think it's so, so much fun. I absolutely love it. So yeah, I mean, there's definitely a lot on this list, but I could for sure say more. We know I can chat and chat for days. So let me know your thoughts and if you agree or disagree with all of these, but I stand by them and I am so excited for spring and summer fashion because of all these things. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You can also turn on my post notifications if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. As always, be sure to leave your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. If you want to see other videos similar to this one, if you have any topics that you want me to discuss or trends that you want me to chat about, whatever it may be, leave it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all of my love and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.